hello YouTube. Okay, so um, if you haven't, if you didn't know, um, hey, sorry I released a new update, which is yeah. Okay, anyway, so they, re they released a new update. Um, a lot of new stuff <laughs> was um, um updated, and yeah, just vital stuff, very vital. Um, I have it. I'm in my Hexari Guide server. And yeah, so I'm going to be going over this. I'm going to be talking about the new meta shifts for farming and PvP for almost all the cards that got changed. Yes. Alright, so first things first. Let's view this. Alright, so, um... Okay, the Burning Pledge, the reduced flame, eternal flame damage was from 8 to 6. So, well, I should say that um, Burning Pledge is not as, like, Deadly if you use it in the beginning You know before it would always hit um, it always Hurt you eight damage per turn. I mean not per turn per round, but now it's six So there's not um, a major change in that really I mean personally I wouldn't I still wouldn't use spring pledge because it's just too much damage um, let's see. Yeah, so I think people are still going to use it um, if they want to use, like, if, if they want to use two Vampire Claws or something like that, I have a feeling they would use, um, um, yeah, okay, yeah. They would still use Burning Pledge, but it won't be, um, very commonly used still, I think. But if people still use it, okay, I'm just at a loss of words, okay, I, I just need to take a breather. Okay, so the Burning Pledge it's le it, it does less damage, but I'm pretty sure it's still going to be used like, the same amount of times. Yeah, it's not it's not going to be that much of a huge change, I think, personally. Alright, so Corrupt. The range increased from 2 to 4. Uh, nothing much there. No one really uses it in PvP. Um, for farming, it won't really help much because Corrupt is not useful for anything at the moment. Smoke screen. Wow. Turn duration increases from 2 to 3, AoE increases from um, from 1 to 2. That's huge, that shifts the beta a lot. First of all, um, let's say in farming, ooh, you, um, instead of grouping almost everyone, you, you don't mean to have to group everyone. Like if they're um, near you in a 2 hex AoE range, you would confuse them. And the amazing part is the turn duration is from two to three. That's huge because they're just confused for three rounds, and so many tiles are affected in that area. It's almost like Hellfire. Hellfire is, has a way bigger range than a Corn Affliction. It's almost the same concept as that. So Smoke Screen is also going to be useful in um, PvP. If some people use Mercenary Spam, oh, Smoke Screen is going to be really helpful. I think smoke screen. I um, mean, yeah, I would personally start using smoke screen because of the confusion and the huge AOE range. We can affect a lot of people from that. So the smoke screen. Um, the only I guess you say benefit from it is the increase in turn duration and a bigger range of AOE. A rubber duck. It becomes quick play. Flame blockade. Blockade becomes quick play. I mean, none of those really matter much. I mean, some people might troll around with the flame blockade and the rubber duck. <laughs> anyway, the conjurer now allows the person to select the card they want that was previously random. So, wow. So, conjurer, um, it will, it, it can draw, it's basically a hocus pocus. Um, it's basically now a hocus pocus, but it's cost one bit. I think, I mean, it's, Let's see. You can cons you can consider two conjures the same as Hocus Pocus, but I think Hocus Pocus is more better because it's you know it's only one card. I mean it actually goes both ways. You know Hocus Pocus is one card, so it takes less space in your deck, but a um, conjure is a common card, right? Okay, so um, the Mask of Truth is the big cost is reduced from one to zero. That's huge right there. That's huge. 
because, you know, people, I mean, it's quick play, right? So, I mean, people wouldn't really use Mask of Courage because it just costs one bit. It's a waste of bits because, you know, every round you get, it's one, it gives you one bit, right? So now, um, with it costing zero bits, I'm sure a lot of people would be using it, like, way more than, yeah, actually, I think, like, barely anyone uses Mask of Courage back then, but now a lot of people are going to use Mask of Courage. It costs zero bits. That's the huge main part. That's really huge. And it also um, draws a random card from your discard pile. So, and along with drawing a random card in your deck. That's not discarded. That's big right there. Yeah, it's very... One of the powerful cards, I guess. You guys can say that. Insight, because reduced from 2 to 1. Um, that's basically the same as Mask of Truth. Um... It's probably better than Mask of Truth in a way because it's common. Um, afternoon Delight Hue increased from 15 to 20. Uh, nothing much from there. Um, the Ant Heal the damage reduced from 8 to 7, but the duration is increased from 3 to 4. So you basically um, deal 28 damage instead of 24. The range is increased as well. Ant Heal is, was, yes, yeah, was not as used um, as commonly because it is. I mean, Ant Hill, it's just zero bits, um, 20 damage. I mean, sure, it's 20, 24, actually, 24 damage. Just the burn damage was high, but it's not really used as often because, I mean, it's not guaranteed the person or your opponent will trip over it. Um, I mean, it's probably likely, but just it's not as used because there's other cards that would be used um, more commonly and they're more effective. So, in the Ember, same thing, the same thing as the Ant Hill. Ooh, Ember. I mean, 20 damage, that's huge right there. That's a lot of damage. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't use Ember because, I mean, Ignite, Ignite is way better. It costs 2 bits. And it does 60 damage from at the time, but now it's 50. Yeah. <laughs> and the Pollute, the damage increased from 8 to 10. Duration, yeah. Okay, so Pollute... They lower the damage of the pollute because um, you can uh, use Vamashank right afterwards and deal an immense amount of damage. And they don't want the pollute to deal that much damage as well because it's like <laughs> it's like really bad, I guess. I mean, pollute. So let's say if it, let's say if it did twenty damage, right? If it does twenty damage over three rounds, then you can also use. Um, Actually, over four rounds, and then you can use Venom Shank, and then that would do 85 damage on top of that. So I think they loaded damage just to make it more fair, because people can use Venom Shank. And the Magician's Secret, their cost reduced from 1 to 0. I think people are going to spam Magician's Secrets sometimes. I mean, it's more it's a buff. It's a attack and defense buff that's applied with everyone on your team. That's really good, I guess. It's... Instead of using High Cognition and Ramparts, you got Magician's Secret. Yeah. But, it's, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take up a bit more room in your deck, though. That's the only, I guess, problem with it. And also, um, I think all of your teammates have to use it, I think, at the same, at the same turn. Protected Rate, the big cost reduced from 3 to 2. Um, oh yeah, the Magician's Secret is also going to be, um, very vital in um, farming because it causes zero bits, so it doesn't cost as many bits. But with the protector rate, it's also going to be very powerful because it's just two bits. It's not going to cost as much. So the protector rate can be spammed a bit more because it's two bits. You know, it's less a less amount of bits. So if you have not checked out protector rate spam in my uh, history guides, so not mine really. Right, this is real. This is a really good, um, really good guide because you can literally spam protect rates. Two protect rates would um, prevent 100% damage or income damage, and it's a um, it covers an AOE area, which is huge because you can literally, if your team is grouped up, you can protect the whole, your whole entire um, group. Yep. All right. So, um, hot coca. Anyway, so the Hawk Hoka, it will give the user no freeze for two turns as well. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Um, this will prevent any, like, freeze lock. Have you ever heard of it? Like, people spamming um, ice things, like ice breath, snowball. 
cold feet, all that. Splash will apply heal block. I think heal block is um basically d d it 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 um, prevents you from healing. I mean, it doesn't prevent you from healing itself. It's it prevents you from the um. From the heal status effect, you know, like how regenerator pulse gives you a heal status effect of fifteen per round. Per round, that's what the heal block is. I'm I'm sure. And if it's, if the enemy is above fifty percent, um, let's see, scratch venom shank. It applies four turns of heal block if the target already had a poison effect. Okay, that's really big because you know people are using. You were using um, regenerative pulse and wand heal because you know it heals forty five health, which is higher than the uh, than the um, blue elixir. People start using that, um, so now this kind of sort of prevents you from doing that. I mean, you you if you do do that, it would just it's just a waste of heals. So yeah, that heal block is going to be very effective. The uppercut it stuns the target if he has any attack buffs applied. That's not huge because not many people really bring uppercut, but I mean that's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Dynamic Bolt. The damage is nerfed from 90 to 80. It should no longer harm allies. Wow. So the Dynamic Bolt does 80 damage. You know, it used to do 90 damage. Wow. So now, first of all, the um, people who use OTK, or basically one-hand kill deck, with the dynamic boat would be unable to do that because now it does 80 damage instead of 90. Um, that's a huge nerf, like a lot. And people usually do the, do their, do their final kill um, using dynamic boat instead of Dark Seal Long Blade, and they would do 90 damage to finish off that opponent ASAP. But now it's 80. The Cubit's arrow, the charm duration is reduced from 2 to 1. Now that's huge for both, you know, farming and PvP. And in, in farming, um, the Cubist Arrow, it, you, we usually not we, but it usually um, requires two t two rounds instead of one because you know you need to. Um, there might be a chance the opponents or the person being charmed t um, requires two rounds to use a card instead of one. So this is huge, yeah, especially in PvP as well, because the, bro, the I guess the AI, the AI would, um, sometimes it requires two rounds, but now it's one. So it affects, um, affects a lot of things, because, you know, people, um, people will, for just that one turn, um, one, I guess one round of duration is, is less than two, and that's vital, because in that two rounds, you could have, um, maybe moved in a couple spaces, maybe, couple, um, moved to your opponents, and maybe use an attack. But with that one, um, round, it might have just prevented that person from moving two more spots. And, um, they wouldn't be able to use a card. The huge blessing, the healing is reduced from 100 to 90. Well, first of all, um, that's huge because, you know, Huge Blessing was almost like a mini Horn of the Unicorn. And instead of using 8 bits and healing 160 health, um, I mean, wait, what? Okay, yeah, so it's basically, the Horn of the Unicorn, it heals 20 health per bit. So, um, that was almost, uh, I mean, Huge Blessing was almost the same as Horn of the Unicorn. Because, you know, for every bit, basically, um, every one bit. So, the Huge Blessing, um... It will still be used a lot, just because it's 90 health, that's huge. Um, and it's also like one card, right? Instead of spamming like two cards, you can just use one card. So I think Huge Blessing has like this value kind of decrease in a way, but it's still very valuable. It's still um, amazing, I guess you can say. Ice Breath, um, the freeze duration will be nerfed to four. It's very, um, that's very vital. Okay, so, um, yeah. Alright, let's go back. Okay, so, um, Ignite. The duration is reduced from 6 to 5. There's nothing much of a huge change in there because it's, you know, it's just 6 to 5, right? So instead of doing 60 damage for, per 2 bits, it's 50 damage. Now that's huge because that's basically 25 damage per bit. So, yeah, um, 
see, it's just, yeah, it's, nothing much changed, uh, mainly in PvP, I mean, I'm P, no, I mean, I guess both, PvP and farming, so anyway, so yeah, so the ice bath, it doesn't, um, there's a huge change in that, instead of, like, um, ice locking or freeze locking for six, six turns, now four, and purge no longer removes curses, I mean, it's been like that, I think, oh, wait, Oh, purge. Okay, so if someone cores you, um, no matter what, you're going to... So I guess you say corrupt, or the curse effect has now a bigger, um, value in there. Anyway, so agonized greed, um, gives a negative 50% debuff, defense debuff, instead of an attack debuff and a defense debuff. Um, so you can basically use agonized greed if... If you don't really care about um, having your defense um, debuffed, this spell removes curses and heal block from the entire team. Oh, entire team, guys! So you, so if you're in a PvP battle um, and you have heal blocks or curses, um, you can um, use this spell and it removes curses and this heal block from the entire team. That's huge. So regen or regen pulse. It has a target locked and it's global. That's huge. Um, it can. You cannot pick yourself. Wow, okay. So, wand heal is probably now better for 1v1 cases because, um, because wand heal can heal, your, can heal yourself. Um, okay, and now it's, uh, um, apply a strong healing effect to everyone around them. So, it's basically an AoE almost. And, and, and it heals enemies. So, this is good and bad. I'm pretty sure this is more towards the bad side. Because it's, um, it has an AoE and your enemies can heal from it. And also now, Strength Duality is Quick Play. Okay, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Um, the buffed ally will receive 40% buff instead of 50% and the caster will receive 25%. So basically, it's the old version. The original version, I think. Um, this is very interesting because it's Quick Play. So basically, you could literally let's say like in a four versus four all of your teammates can literally um quickly buff this one person and then this one person would just kill almost the whole entire team i don't know but string duality is quick play which is very interesting now fixes and changes added ai instructions for jack o lantern throw okay the best the best advisors now require another last confirmation from the player Multi shop now uses a different image for hexons and gold. Ooh, that's interesting. Multi shop increase the text size to make it easier to see the amounts of every item. Loot boxes. Hmm, what's loot boxes? I'm not sure what loot loot boxes is. I don't know really. And the various bug bug fixes. Wow. Okay. So also from the story. Um, from so you have to go to Jesse and she is found at Snowville and you can trade in gold for these items. And yeah, these items. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little quick review on new updates. Um, if, if you want, I can just give a little um, quick summary. Um, the major changes is smoke screen got changed because it now has a bigger AoE and more of an efficient confusion range, I guess you say. Um, Conjure can now draw the specific cards, almost like a Hocus Pocus. Mask of Truth would be used very more often because it costs zero bits. Um, let's see, what else? Protect Array would be more used in farming because it's two bits. And other than that, that's it. Yeah. Oh, the nerfs. Dynamic Bow got, the damage got reduced. Cubit's Arrow, um, Charm Durations from two to one. That's huge right there. And, yeah, Ignite, the damage, the durations from six to five. So, um, PvP has now changed from one meta shift to a more of a variety and um let's see come on load image please load all right there we go um this spell would probably be used a bit more often strength duality is also used more often and maybe region pulse wouldn't be used as much so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video hope it is interesting and useful And yeah, alright, so, um, yeah, see you guys later.